What did you say? I called you cheap, Madeline, because that's what I think of you. Who do you think you're, you're talking cheap, to? Cheap, tacky little tramp who every week becomes less and less who do like you the woman think that I you married are. and more and more you're like a broad. You're nothing. Yes, you are broad. You are nothing. That's what I called you. You're a tragic, you're boozy, flaccid clown. Watch that's it, Madeline. It? Flaccid. Watch what you say, Madeline. Flaccid. Watch what you say, Madeline. I don't have to take this anymore. Flaccid. I don't have to take this any longer. Oh, yeah, you'll take it. You'll take everything I have to give. You always have. You're not even a man anymore, and I need a man. A real man, not some drunken, broken-down, flaccid undertaker who is just as dead below the waist as his clients are. <laughs> hey, I might have more fun with one of your clients. At least I'd know I'd be getting something stiff in there. <laughs> oh. Going to take it forever, Madeline? Did you? <laughs> Vicious, loose, bitch. Suite 1110, please. Helen, it's me, Ernest Menville. I did it. I didn't think I'd be able to, but I did it. I pushed her down the stairs, and she is absolutely stone cold. And she was saying the most monstrous things, and she's dead, and I did it. And I didn't think I'd be able to, but I just had this feeling inside of me that I couldn't contain. And we're free, Helen, but I'm afraid I'm going to burn in hell because her neck is broken, and there's no pulse, and she's dead. Exactly which part of the plan were you unclear on? Because we went over it three times, Ernest. No, Helen, you don't understand. Ernest, we went over it three times. No, Helen, you don't understand. It, it just happened. I mean, it was an accident. It's, it's better than an accident. At least it's going to look like an accident. Have you called the police? No, I called you first thing. Ernest, you poor, sweet thing. If the police check the phone records, don't you think it'll look unusual that you called me before you called them? Oh, my God. You're right. Of course I'm right. What, well, should I call them right now? No what you're going to say first. Well? I'm thinking. Okay, I've got it. Where's the body? It's at the foot of the stairs. Foot of the stairs. Good. Don't move her. As soon as we hang up, you call the police. Okay. You tell them you were on the phone with me when you heard a terrible scream. Turn around, and you saw Madeline fall down the stairs. Right. Perfect. Stick to that story, because if they check the phone records, it'll just confirm exactly what you told them. Got it. One thing, though. What about the time of death? Do you think they could ever use it to prove the phone call came after? No, no. It's very difficult to determine time of death within a few hours. It's not really an exact science. Ernest. It's not an exact... Ernest. Ernest! You pushed me down the stairs. <laughs> You bet I will. Animal. Psycho. Don't come near me. Wife. Pusher. Don't come near me or follow me. 
They'll come near me or follow me or talk to me. I don't intend to. I just have to make a telephone call. I just have to make a telephone call.